What's up, everyone? What's good? We are jumping into Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation, Season 2, Episode 10. Whoa. Episode 10. And in the last episode, actually this morning when I was eating my breakfast, I watched that episode that I said I wanted to watch. The one where Rudy got murked, right? Like, and I rewatched it. I was like, oh. Like, I remembered the gist, right? I remembered the general situation. I kind of, I did forget about the girl, but then I remembered about her. But I remembered the gist, but like re-watching it again, I was like, <gasps> like you feel the tension when Edis and Rijard were like, just stood. They just stopped because they sensed what was coming. And like the flipping, what they, what they had with them, like a cow or something, just ran for its life. And it was just actually so tense. Like it was really scary, like the feeling and... And how Rudy tried to like fend them off because Rudy was like, yeah, I know the man got his shit. And Rudy really had to just get in there and like, do, I, like he's no match, but he's flipping. And then Edis tried to protect Rudy too. I loved how, um, I don't know, there was just a lot about that scene to like. Like I just really liked it. It just felt really dire. And I loved like how after the fact, like Rudy was trying to fight back, like with the spells he was casting and I loved it when he like used the rock to like lift him up so he can like still try to I don't know like that scene was just crazy y'all it was really crazy I really liked it I really liked it fact so it that refreshed my memory in terms of like even when Rudy was talking to the man god afterwards and we learned a few things like detail wise it refreshed my memory when it came to that interaction so last week, we ended off with him meeting the girl again. She comes from Japan. She arrived five years ago, and she is potentially the cause for the disaster that happened. And um, they agreed on a deal where, like, you know, she'll give him information if he helps her with her experiments and stuff like that. Because she has no um, mana, right? So let us jump into this episode following that. These two, bruh. That has to be one of the randomest things that happened. What about him? I don't know, maybe say who you are. If you say who you are, you'll see a reaction like no other, so... <laughs> he doesn't seem easy to piss off. <laughs> How did I know that's what he was gonna say? But I was hoping that's not what he was gonna say. Like I had a, like that crossed my mind, but then I'm like, I think he's more than that. And then boom, disappointment. <laughs> Just out with it. <laughs> nope. He doesn't know what that is. <laughs> oh my god. The dog has to be scared. Your braids pointing up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I just heard about that too in the episode, didn't I? If you're gonna try to do that, maybe. My cats are running all over the place, sorry about that. <laughs> Yo, these buttons are trying to survive. Uh, non, c'est pas pour toi. No, do not give her any, please. Take that away from her! Take that away from her! Is that not alcohol? Am I tripping? The little girl! Hello! She just going at it! Is it alcohol? The one he gave her? I don't know, bro! Why do I feel like this could backfire on you? I don't know. Uh, is she trying to like summon things from like the earth? Like imagine she could summon like a pigeon. <laughs> like it seems like she summoned a feather, but is she trying to summon like an animal, like something from earth, if that makes sense? I mean, that's already pretty close if you were able to get like a feather. But if, I think she wants to like manage the whole line being. And once she could do that, it could mean her going the other way. That makes sense? I, I don't know. I mean, the point is clear. She wants to go back. A person from our world. See, she wants to summon a, li a living thing. See? Exactly. Yes. She managed that, bro. That's something. It's just not alive, right? It's not a being. Good. Huh. Mm hmm True. <laughs> Imagine summoning Edis. <laughs> ass back here I mean Rudy has no reason to be a threat to learning summoning yeah you neglecting your boy fits <laughs> uh -huh. yay <laughs> Yo, each and every one of these guys have been with her already. <laughs> oh no, right in front of him, bro? You gonna talk like this? Boosting man's ego over there. <laughs> wow. Above all of them, y'all better. I'm actually, I'm actually happy we got to see him so soon. I'm worried actually. Why we, why we see you so soon? Like this is a goodbye. Nope. Mm -mm. I have a very bad feeling. <laughs> I, have, I have such trust issues in anime. But why, why did we see him again so soon? You feel me? Like, why not? Right? It, look, it didn't really add anything. Like, what was that for? You know what I mean? Did it need to happen? That homeboy was in the area and they saw each other. There's a reason he's here, bro. It's gonna be used for some type of character development or plot development. Like, <sighs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I may just be paranoid, but logically speaking, things shouldn't just happen for no reason. Like, why did that happen? Why did they pull up here? Why did they meet each other so soon? Like, why? Why? <laughs> Wait, 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 they're leaving? Like, these two are leaving together? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you? Jeez. Where are you all going after this? That's a good question. 
I think we'll give Cliff a crash course in adventuring. Care to join us? I'm not going to rely on your help. Okay, so they are gonna go like adventuring and stuff, right? <laughs> He's telling him to leave? <laughs> like, I'm trying to read between the lines. <laughs> This is gonna be a little awkward. Wait, why? She, she is. Her glasses are on. Her. Is it because of how she's been feeling like neglected? He even blocked her. Oh my gosh. Trendy wrestling with <laughs> huh? Fitz, you're being so bait, like like it's awkward. But where's her highness? Fitz doesn't speak while guarding her highness. Where's her highness? And what about you, sir? Expected, but the only thing that you know you did is that you didn't give her as much attention, him, enough attention lately. Are you going to figure it out soon? Are we going to figure it out soon? <sighs> I know what that's like. I just know what that's like. Oh my god. It's like you want to talk to someone, but you can't. And you also don't want to bring your burdens to other people. Pick up your phone, start texting, delete it all, put it back down. I'm like, yeah. <sighs> You know, that's what I thought for a second that wait, homeboy really thought you wouldn't figure this out. I thought that for a second. I'm like, I'm like, why does it not exactly look like fits? Like, some I cannot believe that's actually what happened. That's crazy. For a second, that I thought, I'm like, is that the princess disguised as fits? But like, why would he then say fits won't talk when guarding the princess? The princess isn't even there. The f I'm, I'm telling you, it didn't seem like fits. Part, part of, in the back of my mind, I was like, that doesn't seem like fits. I don't know what it is, but... Am I tripping? That wasn't... Uh I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> Where was she, though? Mm. But like, why why was it like you were cowering and like you had to, homeboy came to guard you too. It's kind of like, because if she's going to act normal here, she could have acted more normal then as well. Just like, like, you know, just acknowledge his presence, but not speak. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But it was so like... <laughs> Wait, real? So yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> Was I right then? <laughs> what? <laughs> so the 
the princess did disguise herself as Fitz? And then Fitz knows all about it? And What? Why? Damn. Yo, in in a like in in a context of its own, that's just super cute. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> it's now his face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the fact that he actually used the word love in this situation too, like, not like, oh, I like her, or whatever, like, I would love <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, he's really doubting it, bro. <laughs> he needs to confirm. He needs to confirm. He probably knows why he's asking now. <laughs> he knows why he's asking. He's like, of all things, bro. You're in love with him. I, I was like, yo, is she? Well, she, he wasn't talking to you. Oh, he's going to feel her chest. Am I tripping? He's going to feel her chest? Or not. Oh. Uh, is he? Fe but he feels it. Did it work? Oh, he, so he felt- Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Alright. He felt that there was nothing there. It worked? <laughs> Stop. It's gone. Damn, bro. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. You. Okay. So it's clear that the key was, in fact, um, having to be able to truly tie her heart. Whoa. T truly tie his heart to, like, the person, I guess. Like, for example, the fact that it stood up a little bit when it came to her, I'm pretty, it's, it has nothing to do with Sophie because he doesn't know that Sophie, right? But it has to do with the fact that he, he's super conscious of her now. Like, he, he's conscious of her and he says, I like her, I love her. Like, that emotion seemed to be what allowed for that development, right? Everyone else that he attempted to, like, you know, have any type of like intimacy with or tried to see if it would stand up, that emotion wasn't present in all of those cases. Um, this is the first time where that emotion is present from what I understand and therefore it's having an effect. So I wish that was just the natural case at all times. It only stands up if you have affection towards someone, like for real. <laughs> that would solve a lot of problems. <laughs> Anywho, all right. So this week we ha we got ourselves a little love story. I was very happy with the little BL moment, L little short BL moment, short but you know. But yeah, now like honestly, all that's left is her saying who she is, and I wonder if that'll change things. I wonder if that'll change things or amplify things. Like I don't, I, like right now, Rudy likes fits, right? I don't think he would have an issue with Fitz being Sophie, but maybe the emotion will change because a lot of other emotions will come in. All the emotions he has for Sophie, whether it just be like friendly, although I'm sure he, he, he used to see every female as a potential anyway, so that's not really what's up. But like Sophie may ha harbor more like you know, close feelings of like familial feelings, but I, I don't think he sees her as family though. So I don't think, I don't think it being Sylphie will deter how he loves her and his ED situation. I don't think it'll deter it even if he finds out it's Sylphie. 
potentially it could amplify it actually um but it definitely could create like a oh my god like i'm in love with sophie like i'm in love with sophie and it, you know it could create some like whoa there but i'm pretty sure if anything that'll most likely amplify the emotions and the thing is i don't think she'll be honest up front that she likes rudy either so that won't come right away but yeah that that developed it developed so now we'll see how they'll interact with each other. He said he's going to tr keep treating her as a he since that's what she wants. Um, but she just knows he knows now. So there's always going to be a little awkward. And yeah, so I don't have much else to say, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. No spoilers. And I'll see you guys in my next videos. So thank you and bye.